Thank you, Pat, for joining us today. My name is Jimena Juli. I'm brand manager of Elica Americas, and I'm here today with Matt Holmes, our vice president of Elica North America. Matt, thank you so much for joining us today. I know we have really exciting things to share. So I'm physically on Elica's manufacturing plant at Mexico, and I have at the showroom, and behind me, I have these two amazing French foods that are part of the Seno series line. So, Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit more about why Elka created the same series and what's going on, what's uh, so special about them? You bet. Thanks, Emma. Um, the Elka, uh, over a little over a year ago, we um, we were looking at the we were looking at the market, and we noticed there were on the custom hood market there was a number of manufacturers, and we actually we saw an opportunity to, to build a better mousetrap. Um, and so, you know, the goal when we're looking at it was to to create a series of semi-custom semi hoods uh, that offered an elevated level of fit and finish, um, were highly available, more available than what the market was providing today. Um, very simple installation, which was a big a, a big problem with a lot of the players, and of course, maybe a little bit more affordable, so that more people could actually actually enjoy these types of products. So. I mean, there's when I'm when we're marketing this product, I really look at five things that are really uh, key features about the product, which make it um, advantageous for a dealer to sell it. And one of it is it's one it's a semi semi custom product, but we're able to make it because it's semi custom. We're able to make it in our plant with uh, a lot of our automated equipment, and so it's we've been it enables us to make the product with a much nicer fit and finish. Uh, and so that that's one thing you'll really notice in a showroom is just the, the really the fine manufacturing compared to what you'd find from other custom manufacturers with this type of product. Um, also, because we're making it, you know, this limited offering of products of these semi-customs products there, we're able to make them faster and more consistently. So really the availability and the lead times should be more consistent and shorter than what you'd be able to get from a another custom player. The the other the, the other the, probably the one of the biggest uh, features about the product is this very simple and fast installation. I'll talk about that later on, but for you know it's a six step process. It's patented uh, and it really overcomes a lot of obstacles that other manufacturers had uh, with having to make a lot of extra purchases just to make a basic installation and and we just reduce the amount of time to do the installation uh, by a significant margin. The the, ins the installation flexibility as well, being able to really install the products into more applications. Um, and then lastly, it's just generally affordable luxury, trying to get the pricing in line with um, to attract a larger pool of customers out there. So those would be uh, really the, my five key points about that product. Matt, thank you so much uh, for this introduction. Definitely there's a lot of exciting things going on with the Senior Series. And why don't we go through some of the specs and features that this range would have. As I was telling you, I have behind me on my left, the Gatana range that is one of all of the models available right now. This is more of a a form shape, so rectangular shape with this curved canopy at the front. And on my um, right, I have the Oristan range with this more classic look with this curved size, this uh, tempered canopy uh, that definitely will make a statement, both of them in, in a kitchen cabinet tree. As for the finish of the uh, material of the range, which they're made uh, of stainless steel, 304 stainless steel specifically. And the body it has uh, this brushed finish and a really nice polished mirror look like uh, details. So the degraded uh, parts of the hood, like the front wings, the side wings in the, in the Vistano and the front room, the Catania, the bandings, and this really nice rivet that has that gives this custom look that uh, we were looking for, uh, obviously with the uh, engineering uh, and the manufacturing quality that Elica can give. Um, 
about size names. So both models are available in 36 and 48 inches. Uh, they change a little bit of uh, the depth in each one. So we have 22 inches of depth for the Catania and uh, 24 inches for the Oristano. So it's a little bit deeper, this, this one. Uh, the decoration of the bandings change also depending on the size. So we have two bandings for 36 inch for the, the Oristano and three banding decoration for the 48. And with Catania, we have the four banding and five banding depending on the sizes. An important thing on these range hoops is that they must be paired with one of our insert range hoops of Pro Series, uh, specifically the model that is uh, compatible with Oristano is the uh, Aresto uh, that is available in 600 and 1200 CFM blower options. And for Catania, the Trento insert hood. So Trento also comes in these both uh, powerful blowers options, 600 and 1200 CFMs. And this is an important note, Matt, because the same series has to be a two unit purchase to make one uh, functional hood. And that uh, you have to have the shell, that would be the Catania or Santa, plus the insert. Uh, something really uh, nice about this is that it is paired with one of our uh, Pro Series inserts. It also comes with all the nice features um, available. I think is that they are equipped with LED lighting. LED lighting gives a really nice ambient and your cooking station and your kitchen. It also uh, helps to save energy consumption. Uh, so that has like a long-lasting life. Uh, for the box, so you will not be worried about changing them. My favorite feature of uh, these French hoops is more about the controls. So we have these hidden knob controls that they just pop out. And I'm just going to do it. You pop them out and you can control the blower and the lighting with them. So I have lighting over here and the blower. It's three speed blower available. Uh, and then you just pop them back in and they're completely hidden at the side. So it gives really nice look on it. As for the baffle filters, they are equipped with professional stainless steel baffle filters, giving this look, a uh, complete look uh, to, to, the, to the range. Uh, the, the filters have this S-shaped uh, floor that helps a lot to drop uh, the grease, the grease like, uh, really good uh, performance on this. And my favorite thing is that they are super easy to clean. So you just slide them out of the door and then put them to the dishwasher and then they go back again. Uh, this is what main, the main feature that you can find on the Senio Series French hoods. But also as all Elica uh, products, we offer a wide range of accessories and kits. So if you're looking for a higher ceiling installation, we also have dock covers available that match the banding design for each of the models. So we have six inches and 12 inches high uh, uh, dock covers. And we have the option of inline and external blower installation that helps a lot for reducing even more than noise in your kitchen. And as you were saying before, um, we have something going on with installation that's really special of these French shoots. So, Matt, why don't you uh, help us uh, with a little information about that? Absolutely. Yeah, the um, the installation is really simple, and this is really probably the the claim to fame on this on this whole product category. This is a patented process that our engineers in Mexico were able to develop, uh, and it's there's a really there's six steps it's really simple the inside there's again there's two purchases that the the dealer needs to make or the consumer is that you're buying the shell and then you're buying the insert so inside the box of the shell there will be uh, a there'll be two templates and on on step one in this slide here you have the one template is affixed to the tape to the ceiling and the other one to the wall it's pretty pretty self-explanatory. Um, the next, also inside the box of the shell, there's going to be four brackets, four metal brackets. Two two brackets that are in, they're in, they're, they're vertical vertically uh, mounted onto the uh, template, 
There's a horizontal bracket uh, at the bottom, and then there's also a ceiling bracket uh, at the very right at the joint of the at the ceiling there. So those four brackets are fixed with screws, um, and you'll obviously want to make sure that you have two by fours behind this installation. This is a fairly heavy hood, so it's best to make sure that there's adequate support behind the wall. Step three is you take the your other box, which is the insert, take that product out, and basically in install it to the two horizontal bracket to the horizontal brackets. Uh, there's with screws. It's a fairly simple process there. At that point, you, you're moving on to step four, which is really been the big problem with a lot of our uh, competitors is that is really setting up the ducting. There's no long special transitions to be purchased. There's no duct covers that you have to purchase to make a simple installation. At this point, what you have is this is the insert on the wall completely accessible to you. So at this point, you can bring in your ducting either from the ceiling, if you're bringing it through the ceiling, straight down and connect it to the transition on the top of the of the insert. Or if you're doing a rear outlet, um, you, you bring the ducting in from the rear outlet and connect to the transition. At that point, you're almost done. I mean, at that point, you just take the shell um, and affix it over everything. It hides everything. It hides the insert, the brackets, everything. Um, it slides on, and then it, there are eyelets on the vertical brackets, and there's eyelets on the um, on the shell itself, and that's where they connect, and they it basically hangs on those eyelets. Um, and then the, the final step, there are four screws that are inserted from inside the insert, through the insert, and into the um, um, into the shell that connect to bring a really nice tight fit between the insert and the shell itself. So those are the those are the six steps. Uh, and again, it's a patented process. It eliminates the need to uh, for initial per additional purchases and it opens up the possibility of, of doing rear outlet, which is really with our competitors is impossible. So um, I'll turn it to you now, Himena. Perfect, Mark. Yes, definitely this is a great advantage about these uh, range shoots that we are looking into the market. So uh, another great advantage, Matt, as you were saying, is the value of it. Uh, so in this next slide, uh, we can see, as I was explaining before, you have to have these two unit purchases uh, to have one complete food. So Matt, do you want to go through this? Yeah, just to, to make sure this is really, really clear for everybody. Um, take, for example, the, the top left, the Oristano 36. You, that comes in either 30, you can either put a 600 CFM insert in there or a 1200. So that's why there's a range in price from 4,000 to basically 4,179, depending upon the blower, okay? So it's it's a two two unit purchase. You can see the, the pricing of the 36. Uh, you can see the pricing of the 48 inch at 4,700. And the same type of thing for the Catania, uh, ranging from 4,100 to 4,200, and then 5,000 for the 48 inch. Uh, the beauty of this is the one point I want to make is a consumer is in their showroom and they may be considering, like, for example, an Elica Leone chimney hood, and it, say it's $1,500. And then maybe they've fallen in love with this really decorative custom look, but they see from the competitors that that pricing is say six, seven thousand dollars, and they they kind of choke on that. Uh, it's a very big jump. Where we're we're bringing them a little, making a little bit more reachable for a broader audience of consumers that saying, hey, I can move from fifteen hundred dollar hood to a four thousand dollar hood and get the look and the quality that I'm really looking for. Uh, it's more reasonable and attainable, and we can deliver that to them and with this product. And this is not what this is going to end as well. Elica will be coming out with additional designs in the future. These are just the two first. And lastly, the one thing I want to really emphasize on all Elica products, all categories, hoods, uh, uh, cooktops, even, even our undercounter refrigeration, we offer a three-year parts and in-home labor warranty. And all you have to do is register your product and you get that third-year automatically. 
So it's a, it's a really big value and selling point that we stand behind what we're, what we're preaching. Perfect, Matt. Yes, exactly. I, I think this free warranty talks a lot about how Elica quality uh, has been its product. So I think uh, I hope this information regarding uh, this new line of design series, these specs, and these uh, great claims of value that Matt is sharing with us uh, are helpful. Uh, but I know many of you are waiting for the questions and answer uh, moment. So there was a question um, raised by I saw one that came across to me, but uh, about serial numbers. Yes, there is a serial number on the uh, uh, on the on the um, shelves as well. Not just the obviously the the well not obviously, but the insert has a serial number, but the shell has a serial number as well, which is on the inside of the of the uh, canopy. I've been asked also a, a little bit more about the, the kits of insulation for inline and external blowers. So um, what, what can you tell us about it? Yeah, yeah this this was a, a pretty nifty design by our engineering staff. Um, Try to make doing an alternative blower as more affordable for, the, for, for everybody, make it an easier process. We now have transitioning to where we have what we call shells. Um, for an, an inline shell and an external shell. And all you do is you buy your hood, like, like for instance, an Arezzo uh, 1200 CFM 34 inch insert or any of our pro hoods, for example, and you, it, and you could buy the shell, say in an inline shell, um, and you, what you would do is you would remove the, the factory installed 1200 CFM blower from the insert and reinstall it into the shell uh and then that way and, and at that point you're not wasting you're not throwing away an, a, a blower that was already pre-installed in the insert and you're reusing it in the application you want it which is in the inline uh box that's up in the attic and will make the kitchen a little bit more quiet as a result so that's the whole concept that we're utilizing um, and it's now going to be available really across the, the broad offering of our products. Thank you, Matt. Uh, I also have a question regarding uh, CFM reduction. So uh, what can you tell us about this? Uh, are the scoops capable for CFM reduction? How does this work? Most definitely. The um, Whether it's 600 or 1200, all of our pro products, which this, is, this is, would be considered professional because of the inserts, they we do we do CFM reduction what we call a CFM reduction bypass kit, uh, and what it is it's basically a, an electronic like a, a cable and it's about I don't know I think it's about like eight inches long. Inside, if you remove the filters from the from the in, from the insert, and you look inside, you're going to see the blower, and then there'll be a cable that's it will be very obvious that goes from the blower that connects to the controls. And that, that, that cable is connected by a male-female connection. All you do is disconnect the male-female connection and take this, this uh, um, bypass kit and you connect it to both ends. In other words, uh, the lead coming from the insert, you connect to one end of the bypass kit. The lead coming from the blower, you connect to the uh, other end of the bypass kit and you're done. What it does, that will effectively reduce will deactivate speed, the higher speeds, and it will achieve the lower CFM. To be specific, on a 600 CFM hood, it will take it to below 300 CFM, 300 or less. If it's a 1200 CFM hood, it will take it below 400, okay? And, it, and on just so you know, on, speed, on the 1200 CFMs, uh, it deactivates the top three speeds, and on the uh, 600, it deactivates the top two speeds. So that's how it works. It's a, it's really, there's no tools required. Uh, you know, really, it, it's a very simple, fast installation to get this done. Perfect. Thank you, Matt. The other question that they are writing us is about the recirculating option. Are these goods uh, doctored only or we have a recirculating uh, capability? Oh, absolutely. We're all, we've now made a recent change. All of our professional hoods, which weren't recirculating capable before, are, are now. Uh, and really, it's a, it's a. You buy two. You have to buy a couple items. Yeah, you, you buy the carbon filters, 
which they're round carbon filters, which are attached kind of like earmuffs to the left and right side of the blower. So if you're going to have a 1200 CFM blower, you're going to need four of those carbon filters. And if you have a 600, you'll need two. And then there's also a deflector in that in that kit, uh, which deflects the air back into the kitchen. Um, and you're you're pretty much done. It's it's a it's a um, we've just you know we've now made this capable for all of our professional hoods is what I was trying to say. Definitely a game changer on this uh, pro series line also. So. Well, there is a. I see a question about the the mounting of the product above a, the cooktop. This uh, we have a standard rule for all of our products, whether it's the Zegno or whether it's you know a, a lower you know any any hood that we make. If you're going to be mounting over gas, uh, we we require that it's a minimum of 30 inches. If you're going to be over electric or induction, the minimum the minimum is 24 inches. Now. If you had a big job out there where the, and I've seen this happen many times where the designer or the architect really need to have this thing mounted closer, it's not a, a given automatic given no that we would never do that or allow you to do that. You just need to come to us and we can go to the plant and get to our quality department and request a, uh, a one-time authorization to mount it closer. And very often we're gonna give you a yes. Um, because we really test these products at ex ex um, extreme conditions, almost not even real life conditions, uh, as a bomb proof test to make sure that these things won't, the product won't fail. Um, but very likely they will work just fine if they're a few inches closer and it will not jeopardize the, uh, the uh, integrity of the product. And we will, main we will extend the warranty for the life of the hood. So yes, these are fully, you know, that's how you, that's the mounting rules that we have for gas and electric. If there's no other questions, I didn't have any other comments, except we, we hope you uh, have an opportunity to, to sell this product. Um, I think we, we'd love to have an opportunity to, to prove that it's a, uh, it's a, you know, it's a great value to you. Um, and the, you know, the spiffs that we're offering on it are, are very generous as well. So uh, check with your distributor on that. Perfect. Yes, I think we have covered it all. So even if you're looking for design, for performance, for value, I think uh, these are really nice options to look at. So, um, and of course, if you have any further questions, uh, you can contact Matt or me or anyone in the Elka team, and we'll be really glad to help you. Matt, thanks a lot again for this Thank time. you. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Thank you, thank you very much.